Good morning, it's Bobby Lee and who else? Kimber. Right, from Hurricane Creek Farms doing a Saturday morning herd check slash trail ride, but um, gonna get these calves checked on our stocker calf herd. There's a little less than half of them right up here at the feed bunks. Um, gonna see if we can find the others. Y'all give the video a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, we appreciate that too, but let's get after it. Out here grazing looks like it's gonna be the the bulk of the rest of them but get these boys counted kind of one of the one of the reasons we brought the horses was we still have those few kind of the usual suspects that aren't staying with the rest of the herd um, primarily because we've had some lameness issues in them they're just just not on their feet as much and so we're gonna go back into the other pastures where we think they most likely are see if we can put eyes on them, check on them. We hadn't seen some of them in a couple of weeks and I just, I'd like to check on them. Um, even though we think they're probably fine. But the other thing, uh, Kimber been asking me for a few weeks to go for a trail ride and haul the horses down to this farm. So we're getting a trail ride in this morning too, aren't we? Mm -hmm. All right, so can you count these and see how many we've got right here? And then you can't, I know you can, but. Anyway, I'm going to get these checked and then uh, see, see that they're all here and then head actually a couple of pastures over from here and see if we can find those others. All right, so we're going to get up here and go through this gate in the next pasture. But I think Curious Steer's back here trying to follow us. we got gotten a little bit of a late start today for a few reasons. One, the, the wild man was wanting to go hunting for a few days and so he and I tried to squirrel hunt earlier. It was just a little too windy. But I had a proud dad moment with him, so um, obviously proud dad moment anytime. Got one checking cows with me, but I'm standing there trying to spot a squirrel. Wind's blowing, it's just not good conditions. He says, Daddy, Daddy, he's pointing. I'm like, what, you see a squirrel? He says, deer. And sure enough, through the woods, standing perfectly still, and it even took me a few seconds to, to see her, the doe standing there. So I was like, well, that's a, that's a, that, I, I was proud of him there. You, at three years old, you think he's just playing with sticks and picking up leaves and that sort of thing, but now he's actually looking. But as we get up here, so we've counted 66 so far in this pasture. See those two steers. One is on one side of the fence, one on the other. So one is not in the pasture, should be. We'll get up there and check those numbers. That'll put us at 68, um, which is good because there was only four or five that are in that that bunch that I hadn't seen in a few days, but I may try to hurry up and get this gate open, see if we can drive that one in here and get the numbers checked on them. Yep, that's number one that's here on the wrong side of the fence. And so 63 on the other side. Let's see if I can ease him back down this fence and through that gate, put him back with them. I actually saw him a few days ago and he's, yeah, he's obviously still really lame. Um, Actually, maybe better than he was a month or two ago, though. We got him positioned down there, kind of in that opening. Uh, he's with the buck. I think we got a horse fly on his butt. Come on, dude. Sadie, not really helping things. Come on, dude. You'll see the gate up there. Um, so he's clearly very lame, but at the same time, moves relatively well. All right, see the gate, see the gate, see the gate, see the gate. Oh, he saw it. Good deal, good deal. All right, so now we're gonna go find a few more. All right, got that, that accomplished. Got, I guess that makes 68 for sure that we have in that pasture all together. Um, that pasture still holding out pretty well, but probably gonna move them back into here. Just a day or two, you can see. This grass looking pretty good at fescue. I'll be close to really starting to hit its stride again for the fall. We, uh, one reason it's nine o'clock and we're out here a little late this morning and able to is been a little cooler these last couple of days down in the kind of low 60s first thing this morning. Um, of course, it's going to warm on up, but starting to get just a little hint of fall. Um, I'm sure we're probably due for another heat wave or so. Just because traditionally we do still have some really hot weather this time of year, but you coming? All right, so 
but kind of one of my plans because of course the pasture we were just in you saw as we started the video is where our catch pen is so that'll be the pasture they'll definitely last be housed in before we load them up and ship them off in november so kind of my general thought is when we get them moved out of that pasture here just sometime over the next week may hold them off of it completely just rotate them between these other two pastures for the next couple of months stockpile that grass let it get as much growth as it can before we let them in there late um, selling them in late november we always end up ace is just getting just a little bit spunky i don't know i don't know what his deal is he hadn't been ridden in a while it's probably one but we always end up having to feed a little hay anyway, but if we can stockpile just a little extra grass in that pasture, uh, that's the smallest pasture just acreage-wise. So, but anyway, yeah, grass is pretty decent in here. Uh, you see there's the feed box where we feed them when they're in this pasture. But we're going to head down the hill there and over across the way, see if we can find them other boys. Well, 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 it looks like we have one of the missing or has not been seen in a while steers we will term it right there Let's see which number that is if he lets us get close enough but kind of a not the best looking steer really just in terms of yeah you got a rear lamb lane that's that right rear so, and the problem with these steers, just other than the fact they're not staying all together, of course, lame like that, he won't, uh, unless he dramatically improves over the next couple of months, he won't, he won't be shipped with our big group. And so, if you're not selling them in that big group, you're not going to bring premium that we hope to get. And so it's, you know, obviously we're happy that he's, he's not dead, not going to die. Yeah, it really diminishes his value. I think it's gonna be number, he's a 40. I think we're, of the four we're still looking for, like two are in the 40s. I'd really like to see what number he is and get that checked off. But he's now headed off into the woods because on top of being lame, he's also very spooky, which somehow has to do with the fact that we don't see him near as regularly and vice versa, he does not see us. Um, and so yeah just all kinds of issues challenges created by a lameness or anything that keeps them from from being with the rest of the herd we're one of the reasons we check them every day and give them a little feed every day is just so they are very comfortable with us and and easy to catch when that time comes but sounded like maybe even heard another one over here so I would have expected they would have all been together. He's the only one we've actually put eyes on them. All right, so there's two of our steers. That's 40. Oh, what number is he? 44, okay. I think that one's probably gonna be 57. Maybe not. This actually may be. What number is he? Can you tell what number he is? I know, I see them both. And the second one, I need his number. Oh, we're even way through the cane. Oh, oh. All right, so I think it's 42 and 44. The good news, 44 is pretty sound. Um, 42 is the one with, or the one I think is 42 is the one with the rear leg lane. So we uh. Still got a couple of others I'd like to put eyes on in here, but it's kind of a fine line. We don't want to bother them too much, especially if they are lame, but I do really want to confirm that everybody is doing relatively well. And Ace, Ace has not been super cooperative. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I'm probably gonna have to edit out a little bit of video. Um, might have used some adult language at times. And, that, and as I now talk about him not wanting to be still, he's standing here like a perfect angel. But some of that's probably my fault because I 
can't remember the last time I rode him. But he's usually pretty good. You can ride him through the woods, through brush, um, over logs, ditches, whatever, and he's fine. But not wanting to stand still, especially once I've gotten him off in the woods somewhere. So, but anyway, as long as he doesn't throw me and break my neck or anything, Kimber could probably find her way back to the truck or fish my phone out of my pocket and make a call, which doubt we have service. Eh, let's give us one bar. There's a chance she could get out of an emergency call if she had to. But anyway, we'll uh, see if we can find a couple more. Okay, so I definitely don't think you're gonna be able to appreciate it, but through there we now have four steers. So we're now in pretty good shape. Um, I think that will account for everybody. I had to get off the horse, obviously. It is just way too thick in here. But yeah, they went on up through there. So right about where I figured they'd be. They like it in this, this kind of cane thickets, I guess you'd call it. It, And it is, which like I mentioned earlier, it's kind of cool today anyway, but it's it seems to always be really cool in these spots. But I don't know, but it's, this stuff's about thick as a hair on the dog's back. So it's hard to navigate even on foot, much less on a horse. So. But pretty well have accomplished what we set out to accomplish this morning. Those are three of them, but I promise you, I'll take my word, there were definitely four a minute ago. They had come out of those woods and up this tree line. Okay, there's 57 is the closest one to us. 42, 57, 42, and then the furthest one there won't flick his ear. All right, 44, so 44, 42, 44, and 57. And so I was wrong, there's actually a fifth one, so it is important. I want to see what the number is on that other one, and we'll have it all narrowed down to just one that we haven't laid eyes on in a couple of weeks. But we'll see if we can get a number on that other one. These little suckers are one of the reasons. You can see I got, I'm assuming that's Ace's blood all over me from this horse fly. We're having trouble with him. They know to get right back here. They're smart. And one gets on him there, he gets a little light and back in wanting to buck. And, but a couple times he's done that and I turn around there's not a horse fly. So I get the feeling that he's also got a little bit of a thought of he might try to buck me off. Uh, not, nothing serious. He, he's just kind of, I guess, threatening. Now I'm questioning myself, I swear. I'd seen four of them there in the woods when uh, I may have to go back and look at the video. I don't think you would have been able to see them, um, even if I was videoing at that moment. It's it was so thick, but only three came out and I rode back in and, and couldn't find another one. So it, I must have just thought I saw four. But the good news, the one steer I was most worried about might actually have gotten out and not just be lame and laying around is that number 57. He was the only one, or he is the only one who has gotten out this summer, um, at least that we know of, assuming those two that we still hadn't found are, are somewhere in here. They, uh, oh, find my phone. Oh, it's doing that. Um, but anyway, but he's here. He, he's the one. I don't remember if we really did a video on that. Uh, I know when we got him back, we didn't because he had made it two or three miles away over on the neighbor's place. And the neighbor actually, he got with his cows. He loaded him up and hauled him right back to me one morning. I really didn't have to do anything. So uh, it's good to have good relationships with your neighbors, but it's kind of a moral there, but he is here. So he was the only one where I was like, well, you know, he's gotten out once, you know, who's to say he wouldn't again. And that, that was right after we had, had bought those last 10. And so we had kind of blamed it on that. He wasn't really buddied up with the rest of them yet. And so, now it does seem like he's with those two at least and they're in here and we're going to move the other cows back into here eventually probably just over the next couple of weeks they'll be all the way on this end of the farm but a uh, question some of you may be thinking or asking you know why you know if these these guys have a problem you know they're lame they got a bad foot or something why not why haven't you done something about it and we have is, is one answer they have all had at least a dose of antibiotic um, to treat um, essentially like foot rod if it's a foot problem 
uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, like where we just were with those three, we're as far away as we possibly can be on this farm from our catch pen and shoot, squish you, where we can actually get them in, pick up their feet, look at them really closely. And just because they're not very cooperative, as you also saw, have not been able to move them this way to make that possible. In a perfect world, yes, we'd get them over here, we'd get them in the chute, we'd look at them. We'd probably even keep them pinned up where they were easy to watch over a little more closely. If they needed ongoing treatment, we could do it. And it just has not been, been practical or feasible for us to accomplish that. Um, if they ever do get moved over here, we will definitely do so. Um, but yeah, that's just maybe the answer some of those questions um, but as always if you do think of a question or you, you point something out maybe we haven't tried or you haven't seen us try or for Kimber to catch up um, drop a comment below we appreciate that we, we like the comments um, you know, mostly it's it's they're nice comments but even the even the occasional haters and that kind of thing I will respond to you we respond to pretty much everything tell you at least to have a good day all right as we walk up here we have one more gate to open and go through before we're back to the truck. Since you're gonna eat a dead leaf. Um, you gonna get that last gate for us? You want me to get it? All right, well, we appreciate y'all riding along with us this morning. We uh, really accomplished uh, not entirely everything we needed to do. There was, as I looked more at my list, there's still two steers that we have not accounted for, um, which is frustrating. It's number 55 and 63. Those two, though, is I think back, actually kind of run together. Um, one other time, we had moved everybody into a new pasture, and those were the only two that wouldn't come. Um, they And I opened the gate and tried to kind of ease around, and they just took off. So, again, th th those kind of just frustrate you. Neither one of those, I, I don't think, is, has been lame or anything. They're just, they buddied up and are, you know, other than each other, they're total loners. But... Again, see if we can eventually get them back with everybody else where we can maybe get them on a truck here in a couple more months, but uh, about another two and a half months, I guess. But anyway, that, like I said, I'll about wrap it up for this video. Appreciate y'all riding along. Appreciate you, you giving the video a thumbs up, subscribing. But as we end it, what do we say, Kimber? Eat beef and God bless. That's right, eat beef and God bless.